We already know that the elevator pitches the airplane up or down, like moving from one floor of a building to another. This is just one of the three primary flight control surfaces. The other two are the rudder and ailerons. They are used for yawing and rolling the airplane respectively. I have also revealed to you in one of my earliest video uploads that a rudder run combines the functions of an elevator and an aileron. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, let us discuss the individual functions of a rudder and an aileron. Unlike the rudders that move in the same direction, the ailerons move in opposing ones where one aileron goes up and the other one goes down. This makes it possible to roll the airplane clockwise or counterclockwise. By putting the wings at different flight levels, there would be a difference in airspeed. Like wing-mounted ailerons, the rudderons move in opposing directions, where one set turns left and the other turns right. This allows the airplane to turn slightly by tilting on one side. In an Airbus 320, this concept is called the spoileron effect, where the spoilers or speed brakes are used like ailerons. This is directly proportionate to the flight level. The rudders are responsible for making sharp turns in the air by yawing leftward or rightward. This vertical stabilizer component is highly sensitive. Like conventional rudders, the rudder runs yaw towards the horizontal direction the airplane wants to head for. Both of them simultaneously turn left or right. But how would the rudder runs move when the airplane is rolled and yawed simultaneously? The simple answer is that only one of the two rudder runs would move significantly because the rudder and the aileron on one section, either the upper or the lower one, have opposing directions. They cancel each other's deflections. So either rudder run would essentially remain as is. Now that you understand why can the upper and lower sections of a rudder move in opposing directions, there is also another good reason to split the rudder into two. While the lower section is only for yawing at lower air speeds, the upper one can also be used at higher air speeds because it deflects a little bit unlike the lower one which deflects so much 